we're about to begin the quest for the Lost Dutchman's Gold Mine and the legend of it. And my friend here, John, will be out exploring and he will send you information, pictures, diary of this expedition that is going to begin shortly for the treasure of the Lost Dutchman Gold Mine, plus other treasures and artifacts, both Native American, Apache Indian that are in the area. And so tell about the, uh, tell about the quickly what you're planning to do on this expedition to find the treasure of the Lost Dutchman's Gold Mine and explore the legend. Well, there's a lot of different things I could tell you there, Joe, about the mine. It's, uh, it's been looked for for the last hundred years, but the Dutchman did find the gold. It's still there, and there's still lots and lots of people looking for that gold. I've been one of the people fortunate enough to be back in there for about seven, eight years myself, and uh, I found all kind of artifacts and stuff that uh, like uh, bullet casings, I found arrowheads, Tommy Hawks, that kind of thing from the Native American Indians. But I also found uh, a couple old mines and stuff, but uh, they were all dug out, blowed up. The forest department, I think, blowed up some of them. But there's definitely gold back in, in the mountains. A lot of people say there's not any gold in the western side of the superstitions, but the superstitions has about 25 miles long, 25 miles wide, so it's a big area. And there's, these canyons are straight up and down. You've got 1,500 feet straight up and down on these canyons. And it's not easy uh, <coughs> walking these canyons. There's uh, a lot of people been killed looking for this gold. And, and uh, there's been over 100 people uh, that's looked for it and, and has been killed. Now these mountains, if I could interrupt, are the Apache Indians, uh, that's part of their legend or legacy, and it's where their thunder god lives, and they would yes. not go into those Yes, you're mountains. right, correct. They at uh, one time didn't, they would kill any white men or uh, Mexicans at the time that went into the mountains. And uh, I, I myself have been in there a few times and just felt that it's time to leave and, and packed up and got out because I, hair, hair on the back of my neck was standing up. That's how... It just feels like somebody's following you, and it's about time to leave. And a I, number of other people have reported that, too, I've read. Yeah, it's true. It's a true statement. It's not something that I made up myself, but it's out there. <laughs> it's there, easy to get lost in there, Oh, too. definitely. There's people who've been lost, and they didn't find them for a couple of years. You say that there's been over 100 people killed in the search for this yes. mine. And you're going to go there, and we're going to send to our subscribers or helpers um, uh, reports, photographs of the Indian petroglyphs, of the tomahawks uh, like you found or whatever artifacts, casings, any pottery and uh, that we find and, um, and there are a number of yeah petroglyphs but there's also that what they'll do is they've covered the various places where they found gold with brush with rocks and you could you said you could walk right by that. And and never even know there's nothing there. That's true. And yes, yeah, so if you'll tell me about that and what you've seen. Yeah, I've been I've been in places like where they hid, uh, like the Spanish uh, hid their go uh, mules up in the mountains. There's little trails that go up and into the mountains, and it looks like sheer cliffs, and you'd never f <coughs> find a trail unless you was really really looking for it. They've uh, they kind of discarded everything, you know, brushed it up. And, Planted things in the road so you wouldn't know to go that way. It, it's a it's a really dangerous area. There's rattlers, there's scorpions, uh, there's mountain lions, things like that back there in the mountains. And you have seen the mountain lions. Yes. There. And they have bears too. Yeah, they even I haven't bear. seen the bear, but yeah, they have black bear, but I haven't seen one. Some right. people have. And I've seen the tracks now, but I haven't seen the bear. There's also reports that <clears throat> the Indians report people of a one of the legends is a ten foot skeleton. It doesn't harm anyone, but it will walk right across your campfire at night. Well, I heard that, but I, thank God I haven't seen that. I might just not go back in there if I seen because that. Because the Indians is basically uh, a Alleged. sacred area, yeah. and it's rather uh, cursed 
and many of the strange sounds how campfires will go out for no reason. They say perhaps the wind, I've heard, blows through the canyon in odd ways. These are enormous walls, amazing. Yeah, at least 1,500 feet high. Yeah, and level. also there are people who are who claim the treasure of some, uh, I guess, uh, eccentric or crazy, uh, as well as Native Americans, but regular uh, prospector types who will be back in there and they'll uh, be afraid you're, you're going to get their treasure, you're competing, and they'll actually shoot at you. And that a lot of people happened, have reported yeah, but not, bullets not landing presently. close to them. Yeah, not uh, with me presently, but they have, uh, some of my friends have been shot at. Yeah. yeah, and you don't know who or where because they could be firing from behind cliffs very yeah. tall um, and from places of cover. There are people that have lived back there for years that are rather dangerous as well. Well, yeah, some people got back in there and they, they're not dealing with reality, so you, you have to deal with them kind of people. You know, just try to be friendly. Don't try to arouse them or tell them what you're looking for or anything. Just, just walk on by if you can. Yes, so... Um, and you, you have explored this for seven years on horseback, but this time we're going to report and take videos, and of all the mines that are there, you'll, you'll actually photograph and we'll talk about them. And yeah, the petroglyphs will talk about I haven't well. done that. But I should have done this when I first started uh, seven years ago because I've run across a lot of, a lot of things that are interesting. It's just, I found like horseshoes and things, you know, just common everyday cans, you know, like old, old cans that are 1920s and stuff, beer bottles. And we will send our subscribers pictures of these yes, yes. and through their email and attachments and through the Facebook channels, we'll send them the uh, URL to these various videos as well as individually. We can send artifacts as well of what you'll find on these trips. You're going to start your expedition all over again, probably in a few weeks. I, you mentioned, yeah. and um, let's see, what else? Oh, yeah, and you'll be somewhat on either horseback, on mule. Uh, there's a stable nearby and some other treasure experts, too, that we're going to interview Definitely with any luck. A, there's some people that I know that's been doing this for 30 to 40 years, and they're in the same opinion. That it's, out, it's there, but it's so well hidden that you just really have to trip over it. And you never know, anyone could trip Anybody over it. But for the skeptics over. who believe there's no treasure, at least we will, if you don't believe it, at least we will be exploring Boy. and we will send you pictures of the other artifacts. You found a 900-year-old uh, tomahawk and other items, yeah. arrowheads, pottery. Um, and there's, of course, the general habitat with rattlesnakes and coyotes at night and occasionally we might catch Heavily. some wildlife, yes. And then, uh, and then there are legends of, of all kinds of strange goings on in these mountains. So it will keep track of it for you. Uh, and uh, that's what we'll send. You, can ne you never know, the treasure may be hidden behind a bush that you could have walked by a hundred times. Definitely. And there's the fellow. Now, uh, the Dutchman himself, though, used to ride through the streets and, uh, of, uh, the, and he would distribute gold. I've read this. And uh, he was quite a legend in his own time, and he had a legend that he had a hidden mine that no one yeah. could find. And he, they tried to track him to follow it, but they couldn't follow him. He told a few people he'd kill them if he, uh, they got too close. And it has proved out there's been people dead there, and they haven't found their bodies sometimes either. <coughs> what year did the original Dutchman actually hide this mine? It's in quite 1891. A in the, around that time. 1891? Yeah, he had, uh, he had, uh, he had pneumonia is what really killed him. There was a flood in the, uh, Phoenix area and it fl flooded his house out and he got, uh, pneumonia and that's what really killed him. But people have been searching and trying to find this through the Superstition Mountains. And the Superstition Mountains are amazing in and of themselves because of the, of the, uh, the way they look, very foreboding. There's a mist that hangs over them. And the, as I said, the Native Americans, it was sacred to the Apache Indians. It's the place where their thunder god lived. And you will, we'll put more of this material online as we go that you can keep track of. We'll have photos, both historical as well as those we take ourselves. And that's what we'll be offering our subscribers to this channel. 
and I thank you. Is there anything you want to say to the well, our I'd subscribers? Say that there is also a historical society there in in uh, Goldfield or in that area. And we'll be contacting them too. Yeah. Definitely. Now, what would you like to say? I to guess our that's subscribers? about it. I guess for tonight, anyway. And would you like to wish them a good? Uh, good luck to everybody who's out there. Okay. Now one more time.